Hi, this is Chanakya and you are watching Chanakya Explains. I recently bought this 3D printer. It is made by a company called Creative. Its model is the Ender 3 Pro. As you can see from this picture, there are two main types of 3D printers. There is one type that uses layers, another type that uses lasers. The type that is most common is the type that uses layers. If you are interested about the type that uses lasers, I have put a link in the description below. This printer works by putting layers of plastic. The printer then moves in the y direction. The printer head can move in the x direction and the z direction. Using this method, the printer head can put plastic anywhere it wants. The printer came with all of the parts, an assembly manual and tools to assemble. Because this is a difficult task, I got help from an adult. The details on how to assemble it are in a link in the description. This printer came with an SD card reader and a SD card. This SD card contains a user manual, troubleshooting guide, a slicer program and a few sample G-codes. You can use the slicer program to make a G-code out of any 3D model. It also contains a driver so you can connect the printer to the computer. This is the SD card port where you put your SD card with the G-code files. Next to it is a mini USB which you can use to update the firmware, control the printer and you could even print using this. If you are interested in doing that, I will put a link in the description. I printed these two from sample G-code that came with the printer. As you can see they printed pretty well. But the pink sample didn't print too well. It stuck two times at the exact same place. I think there's something wrong with G code with this. These two I downloaded from a site called Thingiverse. You can find lots of 3D models from that site. Then I sliced them using a slicer program called Cura. When you slice a downloaded model, it becomes a G code. You put this G code into the SD card and you can print on the printer. To slice a 3D model, you can use the slicer given in the SD card or you can use the free software called Cura. I have given a link to Cura in the description below. One of the great things about this printer is that if there is some power failure while it's printing, you can actually resume printing when the power comes back. I actually tested it myself and it works perfectly. For $200, it's a pretty good printer and I think it's one of the best printers that you can find. I'm going to make more videos on this 3D printer. If you want to watch them, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.